So the second step of this video will involve a smaller brush. I'm going to go down to this one is a three, but it's got a wonderful point on it. I'm building a little more intensity and value into my color, which is still the Viridian. And I'm going under the waves because that's where the gravity is going to pull and give us the shadows. And don't worry about being exact. I know I can't be. It's going to be very difficult to be exact. We do have some color changes through there, and we'll get to them later. When I can, I'm scrubbing out the pencil lines. There's a little bit of blue in here. And I think we'll go back into these waves a few times. So just take your time and no, this could be a couple of hours of work if you're going to enjoy it and settle in. I also see some, um, maybe a little pink or purple in there as this wave moves over here. So take your time. Start to feel those waves. Some people just love painting waves and beach scenes and get lost in all these abstract shapes. And that's really what they are. So this will be slow work.
and I've gotten us started. Erase the pencil lines as you go, as you don't need them. And pull the paint where it needs to go. I think with something like this, you just have to one, work one area at a time. And all this needs to be done behind these reeds. And when you can't figure out a, a spot, just go to another. Or when you're bored with an area, just go to another. You want all these irregular lines and shapes. and dropping in the color as needed. You know, sometimes I don't even know if I'm in the right place. And be aware of what you're trying to create because there's all these reeds and they're actually in front of the water. But as you pull down the color, you can just start creating those reeds. And erase the lines as you go. This is an irregular line right here. Sometimes you need a little stiffer brush, and I have one but I'm not seeing it. So I'll, I'll find something that will work to lift those lines. Let's see, something like this. There we go, this is gonna work. There, that's better. 
And you do have, you can pull some of that. This is foam. It's just very pale. You want to pull in behind all those reeds. Knowing you're going to come back a few times. So this is the white wave. There we go. Here's a curl. I've been kind of waiting for, for the time to do it. Wanting to be sure I've got it in the right place. And you just, you just can't figure these things out. You just have to paint what you see. And if you'll do that, I think you'll be surprised at how eventually this is really going to look like water and the rolling surf. But don't rush it. I think in rushing it, you lose the enjoyment and you also lose um, some of the beauty of creating the subtleties. We, we are going against my principle, which is to start big and work small. <laughs> We're working small. Every painting will cry out for, for what it, how we need to start. I'm going back down to that smaller brush and I'm going to get a little darker with the Viridian. I'm behind this reed right here. I have some wet paper back there. And there's a bit of a roll back there. I'm trying to stay where I am. I mean, where I, you know, keep my mark, my um, orientation. I'm using this reed to kind of help me stay centered.
and you know we don't want to lose our white and I may have done that right here soften as we go and build these irregular tops. This is a wave coming in. So I think what I'm gonna do is just finish right here with you and let you get started. That's how we're going to do the water. We are going to build slowly, deliberately, working small on dry paper. until we get what we want. Take your time and enjoy it. Notice how I connect the water to the foreground. and pull the reeds through. This kind of work that I'm doing right now will create the density we talked about last week. So that when you go dark on top, it'll be, you'll have the depth of going inside all these reeds. You'll have the distance. All right, everybody, let's end it there.